Gen Con coverage is brought to you by Hit Point Press. From animated spell and tarot cards to their breathtaking Humblewood campaign setting and adventure to the award-winning series The Big Bads, Hit Point Press is your one-stop shop for amazing 5e content. Check out our links below for all the gaming goodness. Welcome back to Gen Con 2023. We're at the Paizo booth on day one here to talk about Starfinder. Big news about Starfinder today, something that I have been waiting on since I think Pathfinder 2nd Edition launch. Uh, I want to say, Starfinder 2nd Edition. And tell us, this, give us a brief overview of it and I'll tell you why I'm so excited. Yeah, so today we dropped the trailer and there was a brief panel during our keynote about Starfinder 2nd Edition, which we announced officially today. And probably the biggest thing about Starfinder 2nd Edition is that we're bringing the three action economy and Starfinder 2nd Edition will be fully mechanically compatible with Pathfinder 2nd Edition. So, provided your GM allows it, you can play an operative in Pathfinder or you can play a wizard in Starfinder. I was so excited I didn't even introduce you, Rue. <laughs> Rue, marketing and media strategist, strategist, specialist. Specialist. For Paizo, no, I'm just so excited because ever since we started playing Starfinder and then we got into the Pathfinder second, we actually started with Starfinder. Ooh. And I, it was always a little bit difficult to jump from one to the other because not only were this, the general rules more, mostly different at that point, but like a lot of there was conflicting information about like uh, attacks of opportunity. They work differently in both games. And so it could be a little difficult if you're trying to play both to jump back and forth. So this is something I've been waiting on for so long. And just knowing that now you've, you've doubled essentially your classes as well. This is how long, I don't even know what to ask. How long has this been in the works? Um, about six months or so. Well, I guess officially about six months. We've been talking about second edition for a while. Um, essentially, like, once we saw the positive reaction to Pathfinder second edition and how many new players were able to be onboarded, it was sort of a realization that that rule set is easier for folks to hop over to. And so there were like whispers of, oh, well, at some point we'll do a second edition for Starfinder and we'll bring it into the, uh, the 2E sort of playability system. But with the whole kerfuffle that happened in January and us switching all of our products to the open RPG creative license, we were like, well, this is a wonderful opportunity to really reinvent Starfinder and make it entirely our own and leave all of those OGL related mechanical components behind and it's way easier to take the skeleton of a system you've already built, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and then sort of scaffold onto that for Starfinder. So one of the cool things about, because uh, part of the announcement is that next year at Gen Con, we will have Starfinder playtest books available, and that is when the full playtest will begin. But those playtests won't really be for the rule set, because the rule set's already been tried and tested. It's the Pathfinder rule set. So it'll more be about player mechanics, classes, monsters, all of those sorts of things that are like individual and more personalized and not sort of system, system wide. So that will be releasing next year at Gen Con. That'll be our, uh, one of the things that we drop at Gen Con next year. And also, um, this is the most open play test and most open sort of game announcement we've ever had. Usually, we don't announce a product until about six months before it comes out. This, the actual rule book for Enhanced won't be out until 2025. For second edition. Yes, sorry, not Enhanced. <laughs> Forgive me. No, I was gonna ask you about the difference between the two. So yes. second edition, we're looking at 2025. 2025. So approximately two years. Yeah, so uh, about a two year window. And during those two years, the Starfinder team is going to be releasing what are called field tests. And the field tests aren't full play tests. They don't involve player participation and filling out uh, surveys and those sorts of things, they're essentially more of a peek behind the curtain at what the Starfinder team is working on. So we dropped the first one today. If you go to starfinderplaytest.com, you'll find it. And it has the levels one through five of the soldier, so you can see what the new soldier is going to look like, as well as a couple of monsters that, because of the cross compatibility, you could toss right into a Pathfinder game if you wanted to play them. And uh, Thirsty and I have been working on some uh, behind the scenes things. We're going to be doing some streamed play tests where you can watch the Starfinder team actively work on their game. And uh, because they're cross compatible, we've been play testing 
throwing a gunslinger into Starfinder or throwing a witch warper into Pathfinder. And those sorts of things I think are going to be really fun for folks to get to watch and interact with. Um, and so we just really want the community to see how this game is being built and put together. And so that's why the Starfinder team has decided to have what is essentially a fully open game development process. There's so many questions I have, and I'm sure there's not a lot of details out yet. Something like, off the top of my head, one of the things that makes Starfinder system a little bit different is having like stamina and health points. Is that something that y'all have like, thought about like trying to hold on to some of those things that made Starfinder unique? while you're also trying to bring it in line with Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Yeah, so we're absolutely keeping sort of the like heart and soul of Starfinder. And so the like idea of having stamina, having a kinetic AC, having those sorts of things are going to be implemented. They may not be in the ways that you are used to from 1st Edition, but we're not abandoning those like really important flavor elements that make Starfinder its own game. Excellent. And so tell us now, what is the difference between the Starfinder Remaster program, which is coming out in a couple months now, right? Enhanced. Enhanced. Woof. Enhanced. And then the and then the second edition. So what's the difference there? Yeah. So Starfinder Enhanced is still a first edition book. It's so weird having to say Starfinder first edition now that we have a second coming. Um, it is still a first edition book. It is more a, like, how would I describe this? Closer to what the remaster is doing for Pathfinder. It's taking some of our classes that needed an update, needed some changes, needed to remove some really big OGL elements, and sort of remastering those classes. I know for a fact, as a Witch Warper player, the Witch Warper in Enhanced is amazing, and I cannot wait to see what it does, like, once it's released into the wild. Um, and I know that, like, our team is very excited about the change that they're bringing. And also, because second edition isn't coming for two years, these sort of quality of life improvements is what I will call coming in enhanced, will really make your games better while we sort of like work on Starfinder second edition so that you can still keep having fun in your home game and not feel like we've sort of like left first edition by the wayside. Also in the enhanced book, there's a bunch of rules for sort of equipment leveling up and that sort of thing so that when you're playing a higher level character, you don't feel like you need to abandon a weapon that you're emotionally attached to just because it's not doing what you need it to anymore. And so Enhance sort of changes that where your weapon can level up as you do as well. Excellent. Uh, I imagine like looking at the transition from Starfinder 1st Edition to Starfinder 2nd Edition, it's going to be similar to the way Pathfinder went to Pathfinder 2nd Edition, that like the old adventures for all won't be necessarily compatible. There'll be a, a moment where you shift over. Uh, that's sort of what we should expect in that. Yeah, so all the adventures that are coming out right now, everything essentially until 2025 is going to be a first edition Starfinder book. And then once we switch over, there will be a brief transitionary period. Uh, if we're in the middle of an adventure path, we won't change systems midway through that adventure path, that sort of thing. And uh, once we have sort of like finished that round of things for the year, then we will begin publishing new adventures and adventure paths in the second edition. And we don't entirely know the timeline yet for organized play, but for right now, Starfinder organized play is still going 100% strong in first edition, and we don't currently have a date when we're changing over to that. I'm just so excited that to be able to have, teach my, my gaming group Pathfinder 2nd Edition, which we're already playing, and now just to be easily, if we want to play a Starfinder game, just jump over to that system. Uh, I'm so excited to see it, like Starship Combat, too. Any, uh, any teases about what that's going to look like? Is it going to be using some of like, the vehicle rules or something entirely different? And, any idea yet? I'm not sure on that one yet, honestly. Um, I know that Thurston has been like working on Starship Combat, but I haven't seen any of the playtest material for that yet. Okay, something to, wait, look, to look forward to. Uh, another one I'm looking forward to was actually one of my very first Starfinder adventure paths that I ran that I sort of cobbled together myself, which was Scoured Stars. I took the first season of the Starfinder Society organized play, and I just loved the storyline there of the Scoured Stars and the Starfinder Society losing a lot of its members. I thought it was a great jumping on point, and I, was, and I cobbled together those the ones that were in the meta plot, and there's exciting things like uh, strawberry Machine Cake, the band, and so much fun stuff in there. You are doing that yourselves, taking that work off my plate and making it into an entire adventure path in one book, correct? Yes, so Scoured Stars is going to be a hardcover adventure um, that will have 
all of the meta plot relevant, as you said, scenarios from that first season of Starfinder Society, with some updates and edits as we've sort of made improvements to Starfinder. And also uh, a little bit more sort of like interim material and sort of downtime activities that you don't really have in adventure scenarios because you're not you're not expected to do very much downtime during an organized play adventure. And so we've added some, uh, I guess side quests would be a good way to put it and that sort of thing. So that even if you've already played Sou Scoured Stars, there's still things for you to enjoy and new things for you to find as well. Is it going to look like a typical adventure path in the way it's kind of formatted and designed or is it going to feel a little bit more episodic the way an organized play would be? Sort of like half a dozen of one, six of the other. So it is going to have the adventure paths almost like chapter-wise, but they will be sort of stitched together in a little bit more flow of an adventure path sort of style. Um, and they've also been working really hard on the editing side because our organized play scenarios are written by different authors. Sometimes you can tell when a certain author has written an adventure uh, scenario. So they've been working really hard to sort of get that seamless feeling of a book that was written to be one whole book as opposed to written to be 12 or so mini adventures. What le Do we know what levels is going to be covered in this adventure? Is it like a 1 to 12 or it's a very detailed question <laughs> there I know. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you happen to see Jenny or Thirsty around, they'll probably have the answer for Excellent. you. Excellent. Let me ask you then about, uh, I think, was this announced today, Mechageddon? Oh. Uh, we announced Mechageddon at uh, PaizoCon. Paizo I'm so far behind on everything. There's been so much. I miss this entirely. Tell us about Mechageddon. So Mechageddon is a, I, I want to say it's third through 18th. Level. That's interesting. Or that might be the mech levels. It might be first through 17th with third through 18th level mechs. So don't quote me on the leveling. Uh, numbers and I are not friends. Uh, <laughs> but it is a full adventure, like, again, hardbound, the way that we are doing for Scoured Stars, that is entirely about mech pilots and mech captains and mech combat. You start on Daimalco, uh, which is a planet sort of essentially full of kaiju. And so there will be some Pacific Rim-esque mech and kaiju combat. And uh, Jenny Dorzowski, the lead uh, on the project, and I were talking earlier yesterday, and she's really into mechs. If you have a chance to talk to Jenny about mechs, she's, she knows everything. And one of the big things about the mecha genre, especially like traditional Japanese mecha, is that like mecha games also have like an interpersonal component. And so uh, there will also be a, like the other like rival or cohort or evil even mech captains that you can meet and interact with and sort of like seeing how their personalities influence the mechs that they pilot and that sort of thing is really cool. I just keep thinking about Voltron. That's what uh, is on my mind is Voltron. I hope there is a scene in that movie where you can combine all your mechs into one mega mech. No, you don't have to spoil anything, but that's just on my mind. I would not be surprised if there is, but I'm not going to say one way or the other. What are the timelines on the releases of these, uh, Scoured Stars and Mechageddon? I... I'm not sure on exact months uh, because we've been shifting a lot around, which uh, I talked about when we talked about the remaster, um, because our printer has been so busy printing the remaster. Uh, so things might be a little bit shifting, but I believe we are targeting a February release for Scoured Stars and an April release for Mechagen. Excellent. Well, I mean, we just had Ports of Call that came out recently. I'm trying to think of the ones that have shown up at our door recently. Any other big Starfinder? We have the Drift Crisis. Those adventures are wrapping up now, I believe. Uh, anything else that you're excited about that was announced today? Because I haven't been able to listen to the, the keynote yet. So if there's anything in this on Starfinder, though, let me know. I mean, the keynote uh, part on Starfinder, I will say, was entirely about the second edition. That's a lot to cover. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a nice... We, you get to watch the trailer and then a nice 20-minute conversation with the team about what they're most excited about for the second edition and genuinely like if you haven't seen it yet I suggest you go to our YouTube or Twitch because it is amazing to watch our game designers talk about the things they love most about what they do and that's part of it they talk about their favorite things that are coming for the second edition of Starfinder. Excellent. So anything else you're excited about for Starfinder coming on down the pike here that we haven't talked about yet? Um, 
Honestly, I'm really excited about second edition because I've, like you, I have a home game that plays Pathfinder, and I'm really excited as a GM to not have to remember two sets of rules. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, that's all we've got really to announce right now. Um, but like I said, if you go to starfinderplaytest.com, we'll be keeping regular updates with how the team is doing on their uh, journey to creating second edition. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Rue. Uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Starfinder second edition is exciting to me. Um, it's always fun to watch the development of the playtest sessions too of how these things come together and this is something I feel like that I haven't seen done before is bringing it in line with an existing game an old system so it should be fascinating so good luck to uh, at your con here is this your first gen con uh, this is my first with Paizo it's my second overall but last year I was here just sort of as a regular attendee walking around so well, stay hydrated Stay safe out there, and yeah, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your con. Stay tuned to the Gallant Goblin for the latest from Gen Con 2023. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.